I have all the little ones come forward. I can always count on you two to take the shortcut. <laughs> Good morning. How is everybody today? Good. Good. All right. So Bobby, Michaela, you two were here last week. Austin and Lucas were not. Can you tell them what article of clothing we put on? Uh, Starts with a B, ends with of truth. Yes. Yes. Did, so did you two put on your belt of truth this morning? You did? Did you two? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> okay. So last week, and I've got fun things today because oh, as we go through, I we're... Put it on. Yes. We have... Oops. <laughs> our belt of truth. Um. That's going on. Our boy, okay? And then we also have a belt of truth for the girls because we all, boy or girl, we all need our belt of truth. And Bobby and Michaela, does anybody remember what the belt of truth does for us? It prepares us. And the way that we get prepared is we trust in the word of God. So today, anybody know what the next piece of armor we're going to put on is? Mm -hmm. What? Eight. You are so smart, buddy. That's right. We are going to put on the breastplate of righteousness. Okay? So if we put on the breastplate, it goes right over here, right? What does that protect? But what's inside our body in that area? Your heart. Our heart. What, uh, what other organs are back there? In there? Uh, blood. Did you say brain? Blood. Blood. Okay. I'm like, no, buddy. Yes, there's blood in there too. But what else? <sighs> Lungs. Okay. But more importantly, Bobby did mention the heart. And we read about how important the heart is in Proverbs 4.23. Let me get my... Oh, you need to put it on We will. And you need to boil it. We will. <laughs> We're not there yet. In Proverbs 4.23, the verse says, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. So the breastplate of righteousness really helps protect our heart. And Joe has been teaching us in Sunday, um, in his Sunday messages that we can't change our own heart. God has to do that. So righteousness, do we know what that means? What's it mean? Um, it means you're protected. We are protected, but righteousness is a little bit more than just being protected. It's upright living that invites God and his blessings and his grace into our lives. So to put it even simpler than that is it's living right in God's eyes. So we're following the word. We're doing what Jesus would want us to do. We're showing God's love and grace to everybody we meet. Now, what happens when we don't live with this breastplate of righteousness? We live upside down. And guess what? <laughs> guess what upside down living does? It invites Satan in. And because we're not following God's word. So Satan sees that as a place for him to come in and just have a heyday, have a party, and get to get us away from God's word, which can be a little tough because, let's face it, who wouldn't want to party every day, stay up late, drink coffee all day long, eat sugar, not have to eat broccoli, not have to clean our rooms, right? That sounds like fun. 
No, you're right. It's not fun because at the end of the day, God's sitting there waiting for us saying, please come home. Please put on your breastplate of righteousness and live for the eternal life, not for this life, which is pretty powerful, even for me. So we've got our belt of truth on, right? And we've got the breastplate of righteousness that is going to help us live according to who? According to God, right. So, and one other thing that I learned about how these two pieces of armor go together is if we wouldn't have the belt of truth on first, guess where this weight of righteousness would lay? It would lay right heavy on our chest. God doesn't want us to live with any weight because that's his job. His job is to carry our burdens and to carry the weight that we have through every day. This belt of truth helps support our breastplate of righteousness so we can even easier live trusting God and his word and living out his word. And I thought that was pretty cool to learn. You are going way ahead of me, and yes, we will have all of those pieces, so if you can't join us here in person, make sure to tune in on YouTube or Facebook, YouTube or Facebook, and you can watch us put them on every week, because every week we'll add more, okay? Yeah, but um, what about that? that the shoes are next week. Do you remember what the shoes of peace are going to be talked about next week. So if you're not here, join us on Facebook and YouTube, okay? I don't know. I'm sure your mommy or daddy could get you onto Facebook or YouTube, trust me, if you ask them. They'll get you there, all right? Okay, let's go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for once again showing us another piece of your armor. Help us to properly wear the breastplate of righteousness so that we can live right in your eyes. Help us choose your, help us choose living in your word and not society's word. Help us to live what is right by you and help us to shine bright so that we can show others how awesome this breastplate breastplate of righteousness truly is. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, everybody.